idea of equivalent circuits. So the idea is circuits that give the same output for all possible values of their input variables are said to be equivalent. So suppose we have two different circuits. We've got our first circuit involving an AND gate and a NOT gate, and then our third circuit, or excuse me, our second circuit has three gates. It's got two NOT gates and an OR gate. So we want to know whether these two circuits are equivalent. So what I'm going to do is, first off, I'm going to, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a Boolean expression for each circuit. I'm going to run through the truth tables, and then we'll, we'll see if the outputs are the same uh, for the corresponding same inputs. And the idea of why this is useful is, it, it, you know, it, it could very well be much easier to design a circuit or a logic gate, you know, that only has two gates as opposed to maybe three. And there's certainly situations where you can take complicated circuits and reduce them to a fairly simple one. And a lot of times when you initially create these circuits, when you're kind of going through a real life scenario uh, to set up a circuit, you look at it and you say, whoa, that's complicated to make. There's going to be techniques to turn it back into something more simple. And that's going to be very useful. So that's the idea. Okay? You can uh, take, take a complicated circuit and design it, not always, but in, certainly in some situations to where it'll be much easier to make. Okay, so again, if we make our Boolean statements, or our Boolean expressions, I should say, so for our first one here, we've got x, y, the output is going to be x uh, and, uh, I always do it backwards, x and y, and then our not gate. So we'll take x and y, and we'll take the complement or the not of that statement. So that's going to be the Boolean expression for our first circuit. So let's go ahead and even create the truth table for that. So let's see, we've got our inputs for x and y, we could have 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, or 1, 1. So let's see, the value for x and y, again, x and y equals 1 if only both are equal to 1. So we'll get a 1 in the last row and zeros everywhere else. Well, if we take that statement and take the not of it, or the complement of it, if we run it through the not gate, uh, all the output values, or well now, these are now input values, they will switch, so we'll, the zero will turn into one, and the ones will turn into zeros. So there's the, the truth table for our, first, for our first circuit. Let's do that for the second one as well. And maybe I'll just go ahead and write it on there. Let's see, so we've got x, so if we run it through our not gate, we'll get not x, same thing with y, we'll get not y, but now we're running this through an, an or gate, so we'll get not x or not y. Okay, so we want to know, again, if these two circuits are equivalent. If you've seen De Morgan's Law in probability um, or some other places, you may already know the answer to this. And this is how you could verify that this is actually, well, let's see what happens first, okay? Um, so let's see. Same thing, we've got x and y. I'm certainly going to use, you know, the same uh, order for my inputs. So 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. That way it'll be easy to see if our, our truth tables are the same or not. All right, so we've got to do not x, and separately we have to do not y. So let's see, x was 0, 0, so we'll get 1, 1, and then x was 1, 1, so we'll get 0, 0. Uh, y was 0, so it'll turn into a 1, the 1 will become a 0, the 0 will become a 1, and the 1 will become a 0. So now I have to look at not x or not y. And again, the value for this statement will equal a 1 if uh, either statement or both equals 1. Well, in the first row, hey, they're both 1, so we'll get an output of a 1. Uh, the second row, the first one's a 1, so again, we'll get an output of 1. Third row, we'll get a 1. 
our fourth row, again, will get a zero. So there's our truth table for our second circuit. And you can see that if you compare the truth tables, if I can get them both in here together, hopefully I can make that happen. Maybe not. It shouldn't be that complicated. How about we try this? Yes, okay, there we go. So this was the truth table for our first circuit, truth table for the second circuit. Again, the inputs are exactly the same. And notice the outputs are exactly the same. We get 1110, we get 1110. So we would say, yes, these are in fact equivalent. These are in fact equivalent circuits. So the idea is one could be replaced with the other. So hey, if you're the person designing them, why not take the one that is either the most economical or, or the most simple to produce? So that's the idea. You just have to run through the truth tables. We can always look at some more complicated examples of those. Um, in the next video, what I'm going to do is kind of go backwards. I'm going to start with Boolean expressions and create circuits for those and just do the same thing, deciding if two Boolean expressions are equivalent.